Welcome to another episode uh, from Winter Movies Greek Edition. Uh, today I went for a drive uh, because I had to go to the beach to cool down and have a swim in the beautiful Greek sea. And uh, when I came back again, <coughs> I parked the car where I normally do, at the end of the rocky road. Now, uh, the car uh, has something called cabin overheat protection and uh, what they do is that it makes sure of that the temperature inside the car will not be higher than 40 degrees Celsius or 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I'm going to test this to see if it really works. Um, so now, now I have stopped the car and uh, I have to use my app to just see how uh, hot it is inside the vehicle because that's the only way I can see how hot it is and uh, hopefully this car will start to cool down when it reach 41 uh, or 40 we will see now, as you probably have noticed, I have thrown away my t-shirt and there is a reason for that because it's extremely hot inside this vehicle right now uh, because uh, the air conditioning is not on. So uh, in order to actually survive this test, I only have my shorts. I'm not nude underneath. And even if I were, I wouldn't show you that because that would be extremely bad TV or video or film, whatever. So uh, let's get to it and see if uh, this thing works. This is the island I'm located at. It's only 11 kilometers long and 4 kilometers wide. Now, let's see. Uh, if you go to settings, there, and vehicle, you see there is the cabin overheat protection. There we are, here, and it's on. Not available when alarm is enabled. I have no clue why not, because when you have the alarm on, you can actually put the air condition on by your app. So, uh, yeah, no idea why, but it's just the way it is. So when you click on this thing, it will say, Exactly the same thing as I said, and also cabin overheat protection do not operate or stops operating when the energy remaining in the battery is 20% or less. Okay, so let's see how this works. So what I will do is I will go to controls uh, and I will just take power off. Do you want to turn the power off? Yes. And uh, also I will lock the car with my app so let's see here open up and I will lock it no now according to my app it is now 34 degrees inside the vehicle and uh, well the Sun is up there and the windscreen of the X is extremely big so uh, I don't think there will be a problem of reaching the temperature of 40 degrees underneath the Greek Sun today now uh, the reason why the car knows and the app knows that it is 35 degrees inside this vehicle right now is because see that black thing here that is the sensor of the cabin that will um, tell us the temperature. So according to my app it is still 35 degrees so we have to wait at least 5 or 6 degrees longer. Of course uh, I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Uh, but of course this is nothing compared to what the crazy uh, Finnish people do when they sit inside their saunas in 90 degrees Celsius and uh, having this competition to see who will survive. I've even heard that somebody died in this competition. 
Uh, anyway, um, according to the app, it is now 37 degrees inside the, the vehicle. Interior 37 degrees. So we just have to wait a little bit longer. And I really hope this works because it's starting to get quite unpleasant in here. Still waiting. Uh, 38 degrees now. Okay, 39, and still sweating. My hands is a little bit wet now. And, uh, yeah, I think I need a shower afterwards. Oh, do you hear that? It really worked. 40, yes. Ah, oh, oh my god, that was extremely nice. And how long will it last? Goes down to 38 again. Uh, that was it? 36. It went down to 36. Okay, well that didn't last very long. Not very impressed. Anyway, well. It prevented the car from going above 40, yes it did, but you know, it didn't help so much. So, still, well, okay, it works, sort of, but uh, I wouldn't keep my dog in here. Uh, I've heard that some later updates, uh, they will actually eventually have the thing that you can choose what the maximum heat inside your car will be. So then you can use it sort of as a camper mode if you want to sleep in your car and you can just set it to a maximum 22 degrees or something. But, well, it worked. Um, it reduced uh, the temperature inside the car with 4 degrees. Uh, and now it's starting to rise again, now it's 37. And um, after a while it will probably, and uh, now it's 38. Uh, so it will probably soon start again and bring the car down to 36 but yeah it's still very hot in here even though it's 40 or 36 it's almost the same and uh, it's not very pleasant now the cabin overheat protection will only last for 12 hours so when you park your car uh, the car will keep it not cool but under 40 degrees for 12 hours and after that it will stop uh, and then the car can go higher. So the next day, for instance, your car can reach huh, 62 degrees, as I managed the other day. Uh, but when you go for a ride again and you park the car, then the 12 hour cyclists will start again. Uh, maybe you don't have to drive either, you can just activate, you can just sit inside the car and just lock the door again. Uh, but uh, So it only lasts for 12 hours per time. Okay, it's 39 now, so soon it will start again, and it will cool the car down a little bit. You hear that? Oh. Oh. It's really blowing. It's nice cool air. Really brings the car down again. That's it! <laughs> okay, well, it works, but it's not pleasant. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching.